Good afternoon, everybody. Um, my name's Ken Witherly. On my right is Charles Baudre, uh, my co-chair. Uh, today we're representing, well, we wear many hats this afternoon. It's uh, the, the DMEC group, of which we're both directors. And DMEC main function in life is to host the decennial meetings. Um, that means every 10 years. I have to learn that. Um, and it hits on the 7th, so the next one is going to be in 2017, which is next year. And it'll be in October, so hopefully it won't conflict with too many too many other events, uh, certainly not the PDAC. Moose hunting. Uh, conflicts with moose hunting, I understand, but maybe it's complementary to moose hunting. We do have a field school. I'm not sure what Richard LaChapelle would think about bagging some moose as well, but um, one of the things we found when we started uh, DMEC back in front of the 07 meeting, and we had to create it for legal reasons, for insurance and of all things, when we went to hold the copyright, that's right. So uh, DMEC was created, it's, a, it's definitely a not-for-profit. Uh, one, uh, one of the advantages that we have over many societies is there's, there's nobody gets paid, there's no secretary, there's no office, uh, no fees and dues. Virtual company. We're, uh, well, we're, we're more physical than virtual, but we, we, we're cheap dates. Um, but one of the things we found was that a lot of people after the 07 event said, what was that bus that just went by? And we said, well, that was the DMEC. That was the decennial bus. They say, why didn't you tell us about it? We said, we were telling people for three years beforehand that it existed. And people, if they're not used to it, they don't pay attention. It's the 800-pound gorilla problem. That before. Um, so we decided that we would, uh, uh, the, the DMEC um, directors, we would try and do something which would, would add value to the community, look at the major theme of, of DMEC, which is integration, better integration of technologies to facilitate discovery. And we're talking here geophysics, geochemistry, remote sensing, um, IT, and um, basically get people in the room like we have this year. We started in 2011, so there's probably four or 500 people that have gone through these things. And we try and pick a topic that is, as uh, was told to me by one gentleman, it's eclectic. It's something that's, that's about exploration, but it's not your normal stuff. Uh, we try and pick people who have got an interesting story to say. One year, we were looking at undercover exploration in Chile. And we brought three academics in. And they weren't even going to go to the PDAC, but we have enough money we could bring them in to give talks. One guy came up from Santiago to make his presentation. And the PDAC doesn't pay for this. Whatever money you make or lose, it all goes to them. So we basically have to shell out, even though you're paying a certain amount of money to attend this. DMEC has no access to that. That goes directly to the, to the PDAC, which is fine. We understand what their, what their needs are. So this time around, we've got a, I think, a pretty, pretty interesting one about we call making technology work. Uh, it's something that I've spent a large part of my life doing initially with BHP, Utah BHP, and then in the company I started in 1999. You know, we have a lot of great technologies, but we're often feeling we're not quite getting as much as we should out of them, and why? And I don't think we're unique. I don't think I've stumbled particularly worse than anybody else in my career. I think you look around and it's, it's uh, I would say the progress of technology has been daunting, but the actual economic outcomes have been a bit thin. But anyways, we have, a, uh, we don't actually have a full-on emergency evacuation announcement, but our, our handler, uh, Michelle, will be outside until 6. And as they, as they say, if I'm a bomb disposal guy and if I'm running, follow me. So if you hear some buzzers and they start talking, Michelle will lead us uh, out. There's obviously ways to get out. Hopefully the escalators are not stopped. Yeah, that goes into a boiling pit of lava. So that's, just a tri that's a trick door, Charles. It, it's probably very legitimate. I shouldn't say that. Uh, so um, we've, uh, we've uh, uh, for the first time, and I guess this is something the PDAC recognizes as important, this course does qualify as a professional registration uh, event. The development and we have forms here that yeah. Charles. So, so just basically, uh, if you're if you're interested in getting a certificate for professional continuing development, just fill it in and pass it around, and I'll, I'll pick up all the sheets at the, at the back there uh, later on during the, during the, during the session. Okay. 
Okay. If you don't need one. So the, um, the other thing that we've done in the past year with DMEC, uh, which is we're, we're very happy to have, is a website that basically is now a, an archive and a portal for our proceedings like this meeting. So last year's workshop sits on it, so it's just you know www.dnec.ca. And under resources, uh, there's last year's, uh, all of, I think all of the PDFs from the previous ones are available to 2011. And there's a series of other um, workshops that we think might be of interest. There's several on undercover exploration uh, that I was involved with in Australia. So we have the talks and the same thing, This, well, the gentleman here is watching that it tick as it goes off, but it's a, he's okay, we're all okay. But it's being recorded in about two months time we should have the proceedings as long as the individual speakers are agreeable, which I think they are, uh, but we check with them. Uh, it'll go up on the site. And uh, so that's a, that's a growing resource, our, our historical, all of the decennial meetings going back to 67 are also available on that site. And those are sometimes hard, hard resources to find. So in your handout, uh, you've got uh, short bios for all the speakers, so we won't be going through that. Um, we expect certainly you'll recognize some of the names. So we're very pleased to, to get the group that we have today to, to talk to us about this. Because when I, you know, when I approached each of them about this, you could tell they got it, you know, they, they understood the problem. And so it's not, as I say, just something that I've had a personal issue with for whatever reasons, that uh, we, we do need to get better at the, at the applications of technologies and what do we have to look for in terms of our behaviors and the behaviors of groups developing it, groups using it, and how can we help each other as a community get better because, because, because wins for all of us are, are necessary and wins of individuals promulgate through the, through the community.